What up, though, man? It's James Vergado of God Lover Genius. Here to give a recap, man, of Kendrick Lamar's pop-out show with his friends on Juneteenth. Man, what an enormous, gigantic event. I couldn't think of a lot of big words, but that's all that came to mind. But, bro, man, I thoroughly enjoyed this, man. Kendrick Lamar has clearly crowned himself the king of hip-hop. He is the absolute number one hip hop artist right now at this present moment. Uh, at one point, it, it, it might have been Drake. Another point, it might have been Kendrick. You know, then Drake came back and took the crown. Or at another point, they probably was 1A and 1. But now, as of right now, as of today, it's Kendrick Lamar. Uh,. The West Coast always has had a historic aura in hip hop. Clearly, like I think the most dominant aura when we're talking just aura from from Pac to Ice Cube, N.W.A., Easy E, Dr. Dre, uh, it transcends hip hop just to another energy, man. Like the way they come with the with the G funk, the gangster rap, and you know, the scenery in L.A. with the palm trees and Kendrick Lamar, man, has embodied all that with intellect and he's pushed his culture forward, man. Not only the culture of L.A., but the culture of hip hop. And I was just so happy to see some of the West Coast artists that I love, um, primarily G. Perico. Anybody that know me know I love G. Perico. I think G. Perico is right after Kendrick Lamar as the best West Coast artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's probably go Kendrick Lamar, Nipsey Hussle, and, you know, G. Perico. Like, that's how I was ranking it. And I was happy to see G. Perico, like, not only on stage, like, getting a performance in, but Kendrick Lamar embracing him and shouting him out at the end. Um, I really hope at some point Kendrick put G Perico on one of his albums because I think he need he need that mainstream look because I think a lot of people are giving themselves a disservice of not having him in rotation. But uh, it was beautiful, man. It was absolutely beautiful. I predicted in my mind, I haven't been on social media like that, like, like my socials. I just upload my content and I get off. But I had predicted in my mind before I watched the show, I'm like, well, not before I watched the show, when I saw the show was going to go down, I'm like, Kendrick got to open up with Euphoria. Like, he has to open up with Euphoria. I'm like, that's that's the only way I see this set being opened up. And I was kind of hesitant thinking, like, maybe he won't do it because that's like a seven-minute record. And Kendrick is a real MC. He don't rap over his vocals. So I'm like, that's three beat switch-ups. That's three different flows. And this is high level energy on that second verse. That's my favorite part of Euphoria, the second verse. And I'm like, this is gonna be a lot of a lot of win. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna take to get get this get this off. And he executed it. Now he did fumble a little bit. I think he messed up. Uh, I only watched the show one time. Like I just finished watching. I think he did mess up. You know what I'm saying? But it was so like energetic and it was so hype. Like. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody going to mess up as a performer. You know what I'm saying? You just keep going. But to see him open up with you four, I was like, the man God level. You know what I'm saying? Because if I was him, that's what I, I felt like that was the only way to open it up. And I liked it like the red lights, you know, the lighting, how he did the set. Because I felt like it was exemplifying, like, it was blood in his eyes. You know what I'm saying? Or he could taste blood. And this was, this whole show was a kill shot. He walked that boy down, man. He walked that boy down like this was a massacre. You understand me? Like Kendrick, Kendrick, this was a flawless, flawless execution of decapitating your opponent, uh, bringing out the old. Um, well, that's the wrong word because old means like. You know, you're messed up, but bringing now vintage artists, you know, artists that paved the way, then bringing in the upcoming acts. And then, you know, the current artists is putting it down and, you know, towards the end, having everybody on stage like this was very well thought out and calculated. And it was needed because, like Kendrick said, 
they still, you know, the West Coast, man, been grieving for some years now. They lost some heavy hitters, man, between, you know, not only Nipsey Hussle, but losing Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Like, so the West needed this. They needed to not only, you know, show you don't play with us, but they also needed this to say, like, um, not only are we cornerstones in this hip hop community and this culture, uh, the baton will be passed on eventually by Kendrick Lamar, and he's saying the West is in good hands. I love that for Kendrick. I love when he brought out Ab Soul, you know, the told TDE crew, you know, J Rock and um, Schoolboy Q. Now he performed songs with all of them except Ab Soul. I don't know what was. I really wanted to hear Ab Soul rap something. I mean, they got records together, but anyway, he was just up there, you know, dancing and giving praises to Kendrick. But it was just beautiful to see, man. Um, Kendrick Lamar, man, is is an absolute legend, man. Um, I love Kendrick Lamar, and I believe I believe this whole situation has catapulted his career and his hierarchy in the hip hop community. Uh, now going back to the beef between Drake and Kendrick Lamar, I still stand on, I believe that battle was a little closer than people might want to give it credit to. Um, I think the battle came down to euphoria versus family matters, but Drake didn't have enough in the tank after he dropped family matters. That was his red button. And Kendrick Lamar had not like us, or they not like us, you know what I'm saying, in the tuck. And that took him out of there. You know, that was just... And he's shooting a video, too. Like, like this... I mean, he had the, he had the song blow him out. Then, you know, he didn't did this Juneteenth show and brought all the sets out for that. Then you got celebrities in attendance like LeBron James and DeMar Rosen and Russell Westbrook. And, you know, big boy from the neighborhood show. And now, you know, when he dropped the video, you know, that's going to do numbers. So it's just it's just a lot of he was a, he, he was just a smarter player, you know, on top of um had the better records when, you know, towards the end. Uh, I, I, I think I think Drake. um I, don't, I just don't think Drake should have did it, man. Like he should have kept it subliminal. Um, because Kendrick had been wanting this too bad. And that's I think that's looking back with Drake, like he's gonna realize like sometimes when somebody keep baiting you and they wanna it's probably because they got something that they know you're not prepared for. And I mean, shout out to Drake, man, because you know, being a guy, man, everybody in hip hop says this, man. When you the guy, everybody gonna come for you. And he, he defended his crown and, you know, he lost. You know what I'm saying? The better man won. And, uh, you know, you live to see another day. You'll be fine. You're just not going to be the greatest rapper or known as the greatest rapper. And you're definitely not going to be known as a better rapper than Kendrick. And that's cool. But um, Kendrick Lamar, man, he's the king of hip hop right now. I think I think it's clear. And I look forward to seeing what happens next. What's going to happen now with the next album and how does Kendrick Lamar's legacy continue now that he's let it be known that he's the GOAT as of right now and he's the number one? It's just interesting to see what follows after this. What's y'all thoughts on the concert, man, the Kendrick Lamar and Friends pop-out show for Juneteenth? I think it was a historic concert and a landmark for hip-hop culture, and it's going to be a part of the history books, man. If you made it this far to the video, man, I would like to say thank you for watching. Please be so kind, man, and hit the notification bell. Subscribe to the God Level Genius YouTube channel. I am James Forgato, and as always, be God Level. The genius is in you. God Level Genius.